महिंद्रा अलग अलग लोगों के लिए अलग अलग मायने रखता है ज्यादातर इंडियंस जब भी महिंद्रा के बारे में सोचते हैं इट्स मोस्टली अबाउट दे गो एनी वेयर एंड ड्रगेड व्हीकल्स जो मुश्किल से मुश्किल रास्तों को आसान कर देता है Of course, पिछले दस साल से महिंद्रा का इमेज काफी बदल गया है एंड दैट न्यू अप्रोच के नाउ बी सीन इन द मोस्ट पॉपुलर एस यू वी एवर द न्यू स्कॉर्पियो पिछले कुछ सालों में महिंद्रा ने स्कॉपियो को छोटे मोटे अपडेट्स दिए थे विजुअली स्कॉपियो का डिजाइन काफी इवॉल्व हो चुका है गाड़ी का फ्रंट ग्रिल अपडेट हो चुका है विद न्यू डिजाइन दैट नाउ फीचर्स बिट्स ऑफ क्रोम एक्सेंट ग्रिल के दोनों साइड्स में अब ये नए प्रोजेक्टर लैंप अवेलेबल होंगे विद एलईडी डे टाइम रनिंग लाइट फ्लैंकिंग देडलैम क्लस्टर आगे का बम्पर भी अपडेट किया गया है नाउ हाउसिंग फॉग लैम्प एज वेल एज कम्प्लेट हुड पर भी वो ट्रेडमार्क स्कॉपियो स्कूप भी थोड़ा बहुत रीडिजाइन किया है इन दिस 2014 मॉडल साइड से प्रोफाइल पहले की जैसे है हाउवर अब साइड इंडिकेटर्स में ये फोर ग्रिल हाउसिंग मौजूद है रूफ लाइन पर पीछे की तरफ ये रियर स्पॉइलर माउंटेड है और टेल लैम्प असेंबली में भी अब एलईडी लैम्प इस्तेमाल किए गए हैं टेलगेट पर एक नया और बोल्ड स्कफ प्लेट डाला गया है विद क्रोम आउटलाइनिंग जिसकी वजह से स्कॉपियो का रेव विंडो ग्लास स्पेस कम हो गया है स्टाइलिंग के तौर से स्कॉपियो काफी रिफ्रेशिंग है एंड अलोंग विद 17 इंच एलोइज ये स्कॉपियो काफी अप मार्केट और माचो दिखती है जस्ट विद द इंडियन एसयूवी बायो वॉन्ट्स ऑफ कोर्स इन नए और नवेली लुक्स के साथ महिंद्रा ने अंदर से भी स्कॉपियो को काफी बदला है and it looks and feels great styling or design ke taur se it's a whole new space gaadi mein ab ye naye horizontal vents hain along with a new instrument cluster climate control aur bas ye nahi ek naya touch screen infotainment system bhi hoga iske sath sath charo darwazon par power window buttons hain aur drivers ke liye ek naya xuv style steering wheel bhi hai jis par audio aur phone ke options diye gaye hain ओवरऑल पहले स्कॉपियो के कंपैरिजन में ये नई वाली ज्यादा स्पोर्टी और वेल इक्विप्ड है विद बेटर फिट एंड फिनिश एज वेल ऑन द रोड कुछ हल्के से चेंजेस पता चलते हैं व्हेन इट कम्स टू द वे द स्कॉपियो ड्राइव्स एक ब्रांड न्यू बॉडी ऑन फ्रेम शासी करती है अंडरपिन नई स्कॉपियो को ये कंपनी की पहली गाड़ी है विद नेक्स्ट जेन लैटर शासी जो हाइड्रोफॉर्मिंग की वजह से ज्यादा स्टिफ और लाइट वेट बन गया है महिंद्रा क्लेम करती है कि इस नए शासी ने चेंज कर दिया है द डायनामिक्स ऑफ द स्कॉपियो जो अब ऑफर करता है अ फार बेटर राइड एंड हैंडलिंग फील स्कॉपियो का इंजन पहले की तरह एक एम हॉक यूनिट है विद नो चेंजेस व्हेन इट कम्स टू पावर एंड टॉक लेकिन महिंद्रा ने स्कॉपियो में एक ऑल न्यू 320 ट्वेंटी एम स्पीड मैनुअल ट्रांसमिशन डाला है दैट शिफ्ट बेटर दैन बिफोर बॉक्स के साथ साथ सस्पेंशन सेटअप भी रिवाइज हो चुका है टू ऑफर अ प्लशर एंड मोर रिएक्टिव राइट क्वालिटी क्लास डिफरेंस बिटवीन दी ओल्ड स्कॉर्पियो एंड द न्यू वन एवरीथिंग अबाउट दिस कार इज डिफरेंट द इंटीरियर द स्टीयरिंग व्हील द वे एवरीथिंग इज लेड आउट It's a whole new car from that perspective. Of course, prices के हिसाब से ये नई Scorpio range available होगी from 7.98 lakhs base S2 model के लिए to 11.46 lakhs X showroom Mumbai with a top end fully loaded diesel. पहले की Scorpio सिर्फ चार variants में available थी, अब there's seven trims available for buyers. That's really a testament on what Mahindra is trying to do over here in moving up the ladder, in upping their game across their entire product line. be it from the Quanto all the way up to the XUV 500 you can see this change coming in and it's a change that's always welcome from our side at this price hame koi shak nahi hai as to how popular this new Scorpio will be hum is gaadi ka full or detailed road test bahut hi jald laenge till then time to sit back and see how this new Scorpio stings its competition well all i have to say is If the bold new looks haven't got you stung just yet, 
wait till you get in the driver's seat and take this beast for a run. That'll definitely get you. We are here at the launch of the first major real revolution in the life of the Scorpio since its launch. And a man who's been with it right since inception, Praveen Shah, he wears many hats within the company. I don't need to get there, but Praveen, Scorpio has been an emotional baby more than anything else for the group, isn't it? I think Adil, you said it yeah, correctly. The brand Scorpio given an opportunity to Mahindra to charter into all new territories. Provide things actually which people would want it to, to do it, but can't afford it, be it adventure, be it off-roading. Not only that actually. Scorpio is, is an iconic brand. It has traveled many international destinations. It really continues to amaze the Scorpio owners. And I think we being a customer-centric organization always keep listening to the customers. It helps us actually to understand the customer's unmet demand, which we try and uh, put in into either in terms of variants or in terms of refreshes, which people would like to love and would like to have them in the product what they own. And I think when you fit in all this or provide all these technologies, if you can't provide them at an affordable cost or a price, I think that's what we do both actually and that's where if I may use the word Scorpio continues to be a choice of or a preference of true diehard adventurist or the people who wanted to wander around the world and so on and so forth. When Mahindra first launched the Scorpio they had a tagline which still holds true today nothing else will do. But you have done quite a lot. Well, but still nothing else will do. Uh, yeah, Scorpio is a Scorpio, no matter what color it has, no matter what shape it has, no matter what's on the inside or outside, a Scorpio is a Scorpio. Pawan, 12 years and a whole metamorphosis, but still the iconic urge, the appeal remains intact. How do you nurture this sort of a thing? Engineering can do something, but the emotive appeal is so very vital. I think there are a lot of things that happen, some naturally, something that we plan, uh, which keeps that emotive appeal. And you're absolutely right uh, that uh, while we make all the changes that we make in the product, that is not what makes it a Scorpio. What makes it a Scorpio is that emotive appeal that we have, the connect that we have, which happens through just the sheer pleasure of driving a Scorpio. So whatever we have done, we have not touched that. Uh, the 2.2-liter the Amhawk engine is, is the heart of the Scorpio, which creates that the driving. You have tamed the beast first. We have uh, tamed the beast in what sense? In that you have now made it a sure-footed handler. It is much more stable and more importantly, it's much more comfortable. It's the aura has transcended the original. Yes, uh, I would I would admit that if there was one major sort of uh, shortcoming that remained in the old Scorpio, it was uh, about the handling uh, that it had. And with uh, and that couldn't be changed with some incremental improvements. For that, we had to completely change the, the platform and that's what we have done. It's a big step, a lot of investment that we have done here, all parts are new. Uh, but we thought that the time has come for us to take that leap because the original was designed in 2002. Uh, we had uh, uh, sort of some sort of gaps in our understanding of engineering. Now this one comes along uh, with uh, everything uh, done as well as it can be in a, in a ladder frame vehicle. And it's uh, very important for Scorpio to remain ladder frame. Uh, we could have done a monocoque Scorpio, but then it's not a Scorpio anymore. It's very, uh, what do you call, coincidental and rather interesting and very apt as well. You have launched the car on the same day as our vision statement from our Prime Minister of Make in India happened just preceded this by an hour or so. Isn't it symbolic that Mahindra keeps pace with changing trends rather much more effectively than many other Indian companies? Well, all I can say is that God is watching uh, because we had set the date much before we knew about the Prime Minister's uh, uh, launch of Make in India. But it's very apt, as you said, because when we launched in June, June 2002, the Scorpio, uh, in a way it was a symbol of Make in India. Uh, we, uh, it was the first uh, sort of SUV to be designed completely in India and completely manufactured in India with almost no imported parts. And it is uh, uh, really a very happy coincidence that on the day that the Honorable Prime Minister has launched a very ambitious Make in India plan, we have launched the Scorpio just one hour after. The Scorpio, as I see it now, is still inherently showing some of its traditional lineage from the past, and but you're still moving away from that, and your front-end design and everything is inherent. So 
is this very vital for you still in the makeup of the car or you think you can evolve your own identity and design language going forward? I think, uh, what we try to do is with each new uh, version of Scorpio that we have launched uh, from the original one to 2006 to 2009 to now, there is an evolution that we have done in the style statement, the design statement that we are making. So it's not arbitrarily whatever changes are happening. So the 2009 Scorpio is what we call mighty muscular Scorpio which has shown a lot of muscles. Now this time we have sort of toned down the muscles uh, and, and we have made it we have, we have made it more athletic rather than very very muscular which is again by design it's not it's not something that just emerged by design we have done that you will see in the headlamp the rear the whole uh, sort of if you walk around the car you will see how everything connects together uh, and and interior theme also then connects with the exterior theme in terms of the 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 more uh, toned uh, uh, vehicle body that we have uh, so that's that's the evolution of the style that we have done one last question and that has got to do not with product not I'm talking about empowering engineers, young guys, irrespective of gender. I see that your chief designer is a lady across the world. How does Mahindra get the right goods to tickle their creative buds and keep on delivering completely different solutions to what normally one would not associate on a product like this? Well, I think it's the pride of engineering uh, that we're able to instill in our teams uh, uh, for them to feel that what they are doing is something that is creating uh, and, and a vehicle and in case of Scorpio specifically uh, an iconic vehicle. Uh, what we have done all along from the time that we did the first Scorpio where I was given free hand uh, by, by Mr. Mahindra and my boss at that time Duran to do whatever I wanted to do. We have sort of carried on the same same tradition. of. You have been running free all your life now and that's a good thing. <laughs> so we continue the same tradition of uh, letting the teams decide. We don't micromanage, we don't say that this curve should be like this or this feature should be like that. Let the team decide what they think is the right thing to do. Yes, there will be an overall review overall budget constraints but beyond that uh, it's the team that's empowered to deliver and when they see this vehicle on the road they will feel the pride it's not it's not Pawan Goenka only who will feel the pride the team will feel the pride of what they have done uh, from the junior most engineer through the uh, to, to the chain of command uh, everyone feels the same pride as you have seen in Mr. Mahindra also today so nothing else will do no one more encapsulates this thought process better than Pawan it's a great great day for India from Mahindra, for a lot of SUV specialists who are there, enthusiasts, even within my own team, I think that this is the way to do a homegrown SUV with global inspiration and aspiration. Mm -hmm.